Archie, why don't you go first? Sure. Takara, uh, harawareru, uh, wake ni wa ikanai, uh, warui ne. Um, so you weren't able to exercise me, uh, isn't that's too bad? Yep. Uh, wake can be like in conclusion. So in other words, because of that, you can't um, exercise me. Because um, the last uh, sentence he said, he's talking, well, like the last exact thing that he was talking about was that um, uh, God told me that um, if I did my duty, then he will like take away my sin. So since his sin will be taken away, I will not let you kill me. So in other words, you will not be able to exercise me. I'm sorry. Yeah, Zoom can be confusing. Normally you just click the microphone and you can like click a button and it will work. Uh, and um, see ya, you can get what is Minato-kun's response? <clears throat> I'm guessing it's something like I don't really understand what you're saying. Yeah, like what do you mean by like reason or something like what? Yeah, and he, and he says it in a very like he has a weird accent for things because he's very mm -hmm. like shown in protagonist. Mate, wait! Uh, so he's basically just saying, wait, and sorry. And Dimitri, what does Mako kun say? Uh, the bottom one? Yeah, the bottom one. Ne, so te takunai no. Hey, don't your hands hurt? Exactly. And um, Didi, see if your microphone's working. Uh, yep, yeah, it is. Then you'll be doing the next one. Okay. Ah, uh, ha 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 ha. Um, 学習しね。あ、や、学習しねやつだ。だぜ。今度こそ綺麗に消滅し。あ。<laughs> I'm not sure what gakshu is. Um, gakshu, gakshu means like it refers to like studying something. So he's basically saying you're very like observant, I would say, since Miana couldn't say this because remember his hand, it looks like his hand's in pain or something. So it's like, oh, you're very observant. Uh, yatsu is kind of being used as like a rude way to refer to Hanako kun you're, mm -hmm. you're a rude one, aren't ya? Um, then how about the next part? Um, kondo koso kire ni shoumetsu shimashou. Um, this time let's, um, wrap it up beautifully. Basically. <laughs> Nicely. No, um, shoumetsu no show actually means to, um, I believe to eradicate rather than the wrap up. Ah, it does look a lot like kaimetsu, I think, or kaisho, one of those words. Mm -hmm. So it does look similar to the word to like, to wrap up something. Yeah. I'll, I'll cleanly eradicate you. Do, do, do. And, um, oh, uh, <laughs> um, Sorry, uh, my list of people changed for a second. It's like, uh, and this kite means um, to be affected to something. So, oh, it's not effective, it, not, uh, not affecting him. It's not doing anything. Hey, hey, do da do da. How's this? Take that. And Archie, what do you guys know? Oh, 
欲しいな。あそしたら、見逃しだけでも、だけでもいいよ。Um, so, like, hey, kid or boy,、um, I want your、um, like staff. Um, oh, I can't remember what Mino Gash that kid. So we have、um, me to see and、um, the same kanji as、uh, Migeru. Yep. And、mm-hmm. so、Mino Gash that、uh, da means to let somebody escape. So I will watch your escape basically rather than chasing、mm-hmm. after you. And the、um, ta- takete mo, the takete. So it's minogash and then takete. So it's a compound word right here. And takete means to do something for someone else's sake.、Mm. So how does it all flow together then? So、um, I-, I want your staff. Uh, and then I, so I can just, and is it all right if I just watch, watch you or let you get so, away? So, shara, so sh is basically kind of mean like and, I guess, and tara is an if. So, when you do so shara, it tends to mean、um, if you do that. So, if you、um, give me the staff, is the connotation because he wants the staff. I want the hat staff. So, what's been, you know, Left out is give it to me. So if you give it to me, then I will、um, let you go, basically. And、uh, fearish. Let's see if you're on. Yes. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Yay. <laughs> okay. You want me to pronounce that? Yeah. Just read it out loud. Super short. Okay.、Uh, Na me ya gate. <laughs> uh, oh, what is that kanji? Nanmeru. Is it Nanmeru? It、um, is. Namenna. Like it's, it's very commonly used in Japanese. <laughs> hmm. It basically、um, it means to like to look down on something. So you're looking down on me. Because he's like, I'll let you go if you give me this cool little staff. <laughs> Oops. And then, feverish, why don't you also t- do this part? Okay.、Uh, oh, uh, so it's like, Orewa ni ge. Nezzle. Good night, in other words.、Mm-hmm. Okay, good night. So、uh, I think Orewa means like I. Yes. <laughs> so it's like I am doing something.、Uh, what is that? <laughs> oh, dang, I don't know that kanji.、Uh, Nigeru. Okay. Not Nigeru earlier when we had Minogaste. Mino. Gosh, he wasn't in the call at the time. Oh, he wasn't. You're right. He got kicked out.、Um, so, <laughs> minogashite means to, the kanji basically means to watch someone escape. Minogashite, to let someone go. So, nigeru means to run away. And then he says, ne,、hmm. which is basically like kind of like slurring, I guess,、um, nai, because、uh, the negative form of short forms are basically. Plus nai or plus anai, depending on the verb. So, nigeru becomes nige nai. And then he went nige ne zo. So, I will not run away. <laughs> oh, okay. Ja, ia. Which is like, okay, no, or whatever. Ori nakachi, it's my win. Nah. 
And just wondering, do any of you guys know what this random kanji? It was in the Anki deck, if you just randomly remember it. Um, oh, um, I'm guessing Hara. Somewhere near Hara. Actually, apparently, Gakudai, which means to magnify something. So if you look at the picture, I guess it made the picture of the staff bigger. So just saying, here's a big zoomed in version of the staff. According to the Onki deck. Ah, uh, so just that random part. Why is it saying that on there? I don't know. It didn't seem very useful. But Archie, uh, you can now do what does Hanako kun say out loud? Um, so this, um, you know what Kiken means? Uh, no, I'm not sure what Kiken what? means. Abunai. Have you heard that before? Abunai. Yeah, it's dangerous. So. Exact same meaning. It kind of means okay. like the kanji is weird. I don't know what the kanji is. Like, <laughs> sword. Okay. Because ken is a weapon, like right here. Mm -hmm. But it's slightly different kanji than sword. Or sword. So, um, this is this is dangerous. So I'll um, stick this on. Okay. <laughs> Fui means to seal something, and the kanji yeah. right here is the first part fu. And it tends to mean to, um, ha it means like a seal. Wah! So as you can see, he's putting the seal on the staff he's holding right there. And this right here is the magnification of what he's doing this right there, just in case someone got confused, I guess. I feel like it's more confusing to have the, like zoomed in. <laughs> um, so next is gonna be Dimitri. Uh, no kaho ni nani nani kuritenda teme. What are you doing to my heirloom or our heirloom? Yeah, my heirloom. And then he's being really rude and saying yeah. teme. Teme. That is being kind of polite by using kurete. <laughs> so it's like, what it's are you? Weird. He's saying, what are you doing to, for my sake, you bastard? <laughs> I shouldn't have sworn right there. Tene. Uh, because he's sealing it supposedly for his sake, because he's hurting himself with it. Right? Rather than yeah. for Kun's sake. Which is like, um, it, it won't peel off. Peel it off. Yadayo. I hate that. And um, next part will be Didi. Want to guys see us? Two bubbles. Ah, so they only um, so they only. Yappari, kimi wa kono ah reijo no chikara o mari de tsukai tsukai koto sete inai. Ah, tsukai kona sete inai. Hi. Um, so really, it's like, uh, apart from that. Good idea. So sore I, is that, and yori means less than. So sore yori is saying, uh, um, what you're talking about is unimportant. This is what's more important. Okay. Um, it's made out of the kanji for yure. Um, and to to it. Oh, so something like um, a ghost mm -hmm. stuff. Exactly. So um, in other okay. words, you can think about it as a spirit staff. A uh, staff. A spirit staff. Hi. Okay. 
やっぱり、um, most definitely、uh, like I knew, I guess. Yes. 君はこの冷蔵の力、uh, 使いことこなせてないな。Uh, you're not being, you are sky k o n a s e t e inai. So,、um, uh, you're not using the stuff, uh, uh, spear stuff. Yeah. Nicely?、Uh, basically, yeah. Tsukai k o n a s e t e means、um, to be able to master something. So, basically, saying you're unable to master, you cannot use it correctly, basically. Which is why his hand looks like that. Ouch. And Sia. What does that say? It's kind of hard to read. You are? <laughs> I can't read. Ikazura. <laughs> Ikazura. So it's all about spreading things up. You know what Ikazura means? It normally is pronounced as Kani Kaminari. Ka, kaminari. Lightning, exactly. How about hanatsu? What does this verb mean? I don't know. <laughs> release something. So, and tabi, do you know、um, ichido? As in, like, mo ichido? Yes. Mo ichido means one more time. So, tabi has the same kanji as the do, and it means every time, since we don't have any.、Um, Number here, so it just becomes every single time that you release lightning, then what happens is that kanden is what happens. So, what do you think kanden、um, mean if it's made up of the kanji kanji do kanji do to feel and denki electricity? Uh, it means to um be shocked by. Like, phys- like、oh. electric shocked by, not a like, b i k u r i s t a not that. Okay, wait, so, like, every time the lightning is released,、uh, mm-hmm. you shock yourself. <laughs> exactly. You get shocked by yourself. Yep. And he uses、uh, go、okay. to mean,、um, it seems like this is happening. Like, because、oh. he's basically he's making a hypothesis. He doesn't know for, for, for sure, but he's like,、hmm, it looks like every time、mm. you're using this, you're getting shocked to the extent you're. How about the Jane ja, part of this? What do you think that's conveying?、Uh, something like, uh, isn't, 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 right? Am I right? Something like this. Mm-hmm, exactly. And、um, feverish. Now it's going to be your turn. Yes. So <laughs> I would say, like, me no takeni awa nai chikara ga motarasu noa. And then ha utsu dake dayo. I think that's, oh, it might be Metsu. Ha Metsu. Ha Metsu. <laughs> yep. My bad.、Uh, and then、uh, at, the, at the end, it's like, Sho Neng. Yes, Sho Neng. How about you start with Sho Neng first? Yeah, I think that means like youth. Yes, it means boy. So he's saying, young man. <laughs> oh, okay.、Um, how about Chikara? What does that mean? Uh, chikara by itself it means like power、yes. or strength. So he is referring to power in this context. And then he says, Minotake awanai chikara, which、um, Minotake、uh, apparently means like 
your body height or something like that. So I'm really yeah, using okay. metaphor actually, because <laughs> um, awanai means to to not meet because it's negative form. So mm. to not so basically to use power not meant for you to like suppress the amount of power. So you're using power over your stature. It's basically what. Oh, that interesting. Um, how about motarasu? Motarasu. I feel like uh, uh, oh, <laughs> wait. I think I've seen this. This is like dangerous thoughts. That's actually a good uh, idea. I feel it, but dangerous thoughts was like something else. I think it was like soul oh. soul or something or mole soul something like that. Um, motarasu means to take or bring about or bring something. So this means oh. like bringing out power <laughs> that you're unable to withstand basically, then that will lead to hametsu. Yes. Uh, and I, is that, oh, ruin or destruction, yes. right? Exactly. Perfect. So wielding power you should not wield, that will lead to your destruction. Mm. And next is going to be Sia. One of you guys wants. So yeah, yoke means um unwanted kind of. And osewa is like to be taken care of. So if you're okay, no. what do you say? That's a mute. Oh, sorry. Came to my room. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah you're okay. Uh, so means well. unnecessarily. Unnecessary. It's like the direct meaning. In case someone's pointing out me being kind of iffy when I said <laughs> unwanted. But it just means like excessive, I guess. So you're being excessively caring about me, but it means in the context, like, I don't want that. That's. Isn't that a phrase? Oh, okay, now so now so say. Okay, now so. Oh my God. Yes. Okay, now so. Your business. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Sure. It comes from um, osewa means um, to take care of something, to help. For example, like you, they'll use it when they're like, "Oh, thank you for taking care of me," or "Take care of my child." anything like that it means like take care of something and yoke is as i said before excessive so it it means none of your business and it means that still when you split it up if that makes any sense you because osewa means to make something your business to take care of somebody is it the same way when you enter someone's home and so Yes. I was in your care or um exactly um and Dimitri uh the whole thing uh yeah uh mamoru um in order to protect everyone i don't care about my life is that what he says i feel like that's not correct that's um pretty much what it means um oshi means um it means to like i don't know the way i've learned that is that it just means to simp for something It's like to like something a lot. Like, it's, it's interesting because, yeah, it does definitely mean like um, what you're saying it means. So it's probably like a set phrase almost. <laughs> this, is, this is probably the actual set phrase that gets more into the less of the, exactly what it's saying. Okay, I just looked it up and apparently it means to regret. So he, this is ne means I won't, so I will not yeah. get uh, something like- Yeah, I won't regret you know, using my life. Using up my life for the, the purpose of saving people. 
Um, and feverish. What does Hanukkah reply with? Oh, so uh, I think that's. Uh, oh. <laughs> is that ah? Is it? Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Looks like an A almost. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. So, oh, uh, Netsu Ketsu. Probably Net Ketsu, right? Net ketsu. Oh, Net Ketsu. Sorry. Yeah, I, that, uh, <laughs> uh, that, that, you must know that because um, with Japanese, if there's a Su and the thing that follows is a voiceless consonant like a K or a T or probably an S. Uh, you're going to get a, it's going to turn into a two. So, ketsu hmm. or ku, same thing would happen there. It's a, um, it's like how if in English we have a vowel and a T and a vowel, it becomes a ner, like water rather than water. Hmm. We don't say ter. It's, it's yeah. that <laughs> type of but not rule. So, that, that's, that's actually how you know rather than actually by size because a lot of times you can't see. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, the kanji, like the vocab means uh, like zeal or like re religious fervor. So I guess it's like, oh, uh, the zeal or something. <laughs> yeah, it does mean zeal. I don't know what you meant by what the kanji meaning, because netsu means fever and ketsu means blood. I mean, chi. So, you your, so your blood's boiling, basically. Your blood's on fire. Hmm. Um, I feel like in English, we have a word that has the same kind of meaning that basically gets that, like your bl blood's boiling. <laughs> Hot-blooded. Hot-blooded, exactly. That, that's <laughs> kind of the same um, idea of that. So like, wow, you're really um, hot-blooded right here. You're very into that. You're enthusiastic. Daijoubu. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. And um, Archie, on you guys Uh, uh, ase, ase, asera nakte mo kimi wa izure yu, uh, yush, yushu na, uh, haraite ni nare. Um, You know what aseru means? Um, like, does it mean like to to be uh, to like be hasty? I think exactly. It means to be okay. hasty. So then we have negative form and temo. What would that mean? um so even if you're not hasty exactly so basically don't be hasty if you're, even if you're not hasty then kimi wa uh izure is a basically same meaning as like itsuka so what does izure mean then like always uh itsuka and izure means like one day oh okay one day yushu na harai ni naru I mean, haraite ni naru. You know what no. haraite meant? Yeah, that means like uh, the like exorcist or, or the user. Yushu. And yushu meant you like you'll become a, a great um, exorcist person. Exactly. Perfect. And um. See,お願いします。うん。これなんか簡単に払えくらいくらいにね。うん。それは、うん。For me, it's kind of easy to. Is it? Kind of easy to exercise you later on. Exactly. Uh, kurai is kind of um, 
saying uh, with the nanka as well, kind of basically this is saying, uh, so altogether the sentence is, uh, you don't need to panic. One day you'll definitely become an amazing exorcist yeah. to the extent that somebody like me, you could easily exercise. That's the could I is like something like and sorry koso is like surely. And feverish. What what is Hanako kun and what is what is Hanako kun say? Uh, she's saying kitai shiteru yo. Uh, who kitai? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm not sure what I remember I this one. Uh, Mirai. Mirai. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, he sets it, I think, something like that. So, somewhere like that. It's like pronounced differently. It means like seasons or something. So, Kitai. Uh, is something you do when you're talking about something that you have expectations for, but they're good expectations. So kitai stereo means I have grand expectations for you, basically. Like it, it the context is. So he's saying, I expect good things from you in the future, basically. I am looking hmm. forward to your progress. Oh, uh, okay. So uh, the Thai part, I believe is motsu. Motsu. It means and it's not motsu. Matsu. Matsu, which means wait. Kitai, wait for the season. I can't wait till the time comes that you will be great, I guess. Would be if you're like breaking up hanji meanings for that somehow. Um, Kitai and Dimitri. What else does, does um, Minato-kun say? Uh, you're, you're going to expect good things from me, even though I try to exercise you. Exactly. Ma, ima wa yowa yo yowa chi kedo ne, which is um. However, um, right now you are extremely weak. Got. That's dirty. Winner! Kan, kan, kan. That's the sound effect of uh, like a uh, boxing match bell. Kan, kan, kan. Eto. And what does Yashiro say, feverish? Uh, Jobu. <laughs> Just means, are you okay? <laughs> exactly. And then um, Archie. What do you guys um, uh, uh, akira mete kure na so datta kara ne. Um, what does the cold mean? Um, こうやってでも こうでも is like but um <laughs> こう okay. is like referring to something you did in the past so こうでも <laughs> so even if you uh did that. So, mm. you know, this is like, even if you did that, basically, um, he okay. will akira mete kure na so datta kara na datta kara ne. Uh, akira mete means to not give up. Um, yeah. Right? Yes, all, all yeah, together. Okay. Okay. Um, um, the na <laughs> is negative form, and kurete is to do you a favor. So to not do you the favor of giving up. 
And then Soul is, do you know what Soul is doing right here? Um... not sure uh it, it seems is what this guy is doing it seems. So, okay it seems that so all together this is saying um if i didn't do what i did then it what didn't look like he would um give up at all basically oh, well, did, okay. no, yeah so if, if i don't <laughs> if i did not do what i just did which was sucker punch him in the stomach then nothing would have happened <laughs> And then feverish, why don't you finish this book? Okay. She's saying Jobu, uh, Soul, Hanako oh, Dashi. Oh, sorry, he is. <laughs> uh, yes, Tanaka san. Uh, he's saying Jobu, mm-hmm. uh, Sodashi. Uh, and then I think it's Suko, Shishi, Tara, Okiru yo. Do you know what jobu means? My hint is dai jobu. Uh, sturdy? Is it sturdy? Yeah, exactly. Nice. Then we have soul, <laughs> which is very similar to the soul we just saw in the last sentence. Do you know what it means? Oh, uh, oh, dang. I think I, it slipped my mind. Uh, it means it looks like. So he's saying he looks like he's pretty sturdy. And then the she is an and. It's an and where there's like lots of ands. So not only does he look ser- sturdy and other things, I don't know, maybe he's young, not sick, all those things. Uh, because of that, skoshi shitara okiru. So let's start with okiru. What does that mean? Uh, okiru, I think means to, to occur. It can mean to occur. That's not incorrect. Do you know the second meaning it can have when talking about things human beings can do? Oh, waking up. <laughs> exactly. Waking up. In this context. So okidu can mean to happen. Earthquakes okidu and things like that. Um, the first sentence of the book used okidu earlier. I think actually okonaru in that case. Uh, but then we have skoshi. Do you know what that means? Uh, I think it means like a few maybe yes. or like in a bit so uh, so uh skoshi tara which basically means in a bit basically um like mm-hmm. skoshi jikan ga kakaru nara or something like that the the actual time phrase has been left out and it's context based that we know the little bit is time so in a little bit he'll wake up because he's very robust uh-huh. he can handle being sucker punched just <laughs> Um, and the next one is going to be Dimitri. You get that whole bubble. Uh, okay. Kono, kono tsue, uh, ima no uchi ni kakushi chatta ho ga ii in janai. Uh, this cane, this staff, shouldn't we, wouldn't it be better if we hide it? Exactly. And how about the next part? Um, Mata kuru kamo. He'll come back, or uh, he might yeah. come back. So, yeah, sorry, so, he might come back. That's what the kamo. Yes, yes, exactly. And um, for this bubble right here, I'm going to do feverish again, and then next will be Sia. So, just the right bubble, or both? Uh, both bubbles. Cool. So the first one is moshi kashi te. And then he says, ore no koto. Uh, oh, I think that's like soon. Oh, sh- oh. shin. <laughs> shin pai. Moshikashite <laughs> ore no koto shin pai? What do you know here? Uh, I think like, it's like moshi, like a greeting of some sort. <laughs> it can be, but moshikashite means perhaps. So moshi moshi is a greeting used on telephones. It means kind of like, are you there? Or something like that. Moshi moshi. But moshikashite hmm. means perhaps. Are you perhaps? Uh, ore no koto shinpai? How about shinpai? Do you know what that means? Oh. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm worried. And ore no koto means about me. So are you perhaps worried about me? Hmm. And Archie, what is Yashiro say in response? Uh, um, obviously not, or? Um, so this right here is more like, um, negative, negative. Oh, okay. So like it's still it, obviously. So it's, it's still obviously, like, we just, we wouldn't say it like that in English. Right. <laughs> like, like, of course, like, why wouldn't I, like, obviously. Mm -hmm. so you, I guess, like, in English, we have to somehow do it with two negatives. But, like, okay. uh, I, in this case, is making it a positive statement. <laughs> Both have the same meaning. She just Got is it. making it more, like, expressive with the negative form. Hmm. So she says, obviously, we're, we're friends, right? Exactly. Well, because we're friends. Yeah. Perfect. And uh, sorry for skipping you, Sia. Now, now it's Sia's turn. <laughs> For Yashiro, even if it's a murderer, <laughs> something, something. <laughs> So basically, yeah, yeah. So even even in this case, I'd say toward or with a uh killer, you can nakayoku. So my hint to you is nakama, if you know that word, and e. Mm. e become good friends. Exactly, nakayoku means to get along well, and dekiru mm. is to be able to. So, oh, Yachiro, oh. you actually are able to get along with killers. Hmm. Even a killer, you can be. <laughs> so, so, nan de dodan, dodan. Um, so, what I was saying, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Joking, joking. I'm a prank star. And um, Archie, onigashimasu. Sono shonen wa kono mama de um ah dai dai daijoubu da yo daijoubu daijoubu da yo um he'll be all right like right? the boy mm -hmm. basically saying leaving him as he is so he's saying you don't need to help him he can just lay on the floor <laughs> So just, just leave him be and he'll be daijoubu, is what that says. Um, and Dimitri, onigaishimasu. <laughs> It seems like he's going to come back to exercise me. And so I'll give him a warm welcome. And I don't know what nigiyaka means. So nigiyaka should be um, like the opposite of quiet. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Loud? <laughs> it's going to be like lively. Lively? I mean, yeah, like, lively. Like, That's a good way of doing it. Nigiyaka, <laughs> bustling, lively. I'm, I was like, how do I say that in English? <laughs> bustling. So feverish. What does nigiyaka mean? Uh, <laughs> oh, putting him on the spot like that? Yeah, on the spot. Uh, uh, what did we just say? <laughs> bustling, live. Exactly. Like that. <laughs> so now you have this sentence to read. Okay. Uh, Ma chikaraka mo te moto. Uh, and then it's like nigi ya kani uh, nari so da kedone. You know what chikai means? 
chikai. I think that means like uh, close. It does. So chika chika is taking the first kanji chikai and doing it twice. So what do you think that means? Maybe it's uh, very close. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Very close. So very oh. close. Um, motto. What does that mean? Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> so motto means like more. So very close. More nigiyaka ni nariso. So nigiyaka uh, ni naru. Very close, more lively. Uh, yeah. um, <laughs> ni naru means to become something. So um, more and more, it will be like basically very soon, <laughs> it's going to be a lot more lively. And then oh, he okay. does soul. Do you remember soul? That's the third time we've seen soul. What does soul do? Oh, yes. Uh, it means like pertains to something or like. Yeah. Uh, in this case, so, uh, it seems like. So it seems like it is going to be very lively soon, super soon. So more like lively soon, sakido, which is um, kind of like but, but not in a but kind of way. <laughs> so just, like it's, and. And. <laughs> so uh, it, it's kind of like, huh? It's kind of, he's kind of saying like, however, it's going to be really, really, I guess and kind of works, but it's kind of like being and in like a butt way, but like not butt in a butt. It's it's like he, he's sad basically. It, it, like, oh. like this thing of saying butt, like it's like sucky kind of, but not like super sucky. Like when someone <laughs> says, "Oh, you can have pie," but you know, like when you say it like that, is it like unfortunately? He's like, "Oh, dang." <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Unfortunately, it's going to be a little bit um, more um, lively than you, than you see. So he's going to say he's going to be lively when he will get, accept them open whelms. But in, he's also saying basically something else is kind of happening that he's less happy about. So the liveliness coming from Minato kun, that's good. He's fine with it. But something <laughs> else closer. Hmm. He's not as happy about that. There's no okange, which is a grand welcome. Instead, it's takedo. Um, and now it is going to be um, see ya. Onegaishimasu. Anata wa shiteimasu ka? Anata wa shiteimasu ka? Repeat, repeat it. Right. <laughs> or something. Uh, do you know? Yes. Did you know? So we're listening to a brand new rumor. What will our wasa be? Um, and uh, Archie, what do you guys think? Um, this uh, or like crossing this staircase rule basically yeah. it's like a title uh, about, about crossing the, the staircase yeah. so ikenai means that um, you can't do something which is yabute which is breaking. And the thing that's breaking is the kimari no koto. So um, the, the rule you should never break on the stairs, basically. Mm. Got it. It's, pretty, it's a pretty weird um, sentence. It's really true. And um, uh, I'm actually gonna do feverish. Yes. Says uh, Coco Dayo Ano Ra uh, G Ode, yep, uh, and uh, Nagarete Ta uh, Kaidan. Coco uh, Dayo, what does that mean? Well, I know like Coco means here, I'm yep. not sure what Dayo it does. Oh. So, um, 
you've probably seen deaths before, right? Yes. So da is the more friendly version of deaths. So death is like neutral polite. You use that with somebody you don't know well, but they don't have more power over you. Da is what you use between like friends, especially if you're boys. So these two are apparently tomodachi. Uh, so that's why he's using da. Oh. So koko da yo, it's right here, you know. And then he says, ano radio de nagareta kaidan. So um, in Japanese, uh, when there's short form connected to a noun, this means this whole thing is describing the noun. So, ano rejiro de kono kaidan nitsuite nagareta or something. <laughs> I'm not sure how to reword that in a simpler way. Um, do you know what nagare, nagareru means? Yes, it means to like be heard on the radio. Yes, exactly. So, we're talking about kaidan that was heard on the radio. The stairs, heard about the stairs on the radio. Yes. So it's right there, or it's right here. That is um, the stairs we heard on the radio. And um, uh, see ya, onigashimasu. Yondan me o fundarate atsu. Yondan me, it's the fourth one. Yes. How about fundara? Uh, Fundara. <laughs> I don't know. So fumu is something you use your ashi with. What do you think it means? Oh. Uh, to, to stop, to cross. Yes. If you if your foot, if you put your foot down um on the fourth step, yondan ne. Uh which is um oh, it's that one basically so oh that one the one about putting stepping down like what happens if you step on the fourth step which is you go look so i told you before that um da can be used between friends it can also be used between somebody of a higher position towards somebody lower than them both are possible. So over here, he's kind of aggressively having his hand over this guy. I thought he was talking for a second, but it looks like this guy's the one talking. So he's basically, he's talking rudely. He's like a senpai talking rudely to his kohai and ordering him about is what that is telling us. So you go, go up those stairs, step on it. Um, and um, this whole bottom part is going to go to Dimitri. あ、その階段、その階段の4段目は、あ、決して踏んではいけません。いけません。うん。あ、the fourth step on that staircase. You should never step on it. Exactly. This is Mizu. Mizu, water. Uh, Nazanara, because. Because of what? Waku waku. Uh, ach Achira ni tsurete ikakete shimau kara. Uh, because we will take you away. Uh, you will be taken away. Oh, you will be taken away. It could theoretically be the other version. Like, it's been dropped off the subject. The you but like you i feel like works better in the context and that crazy enough is the end of chapter three so <laughs> we have to make chapter the next chapter vocab words <laughs> that was a short chapter uh, who's who's taking them away though um uh this act of stepping on the stairs it just it just happens you will be Spirited away, you'll be brought to the other side. Um, feverish. I will have you read the chapter title. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Miseki, uh, Kaidan, So no Ichi. Oh, okay. So I know the floor. <laughs> That, that vocab, Kaidan, is floor. Kaidan is um, 
stir right. sir. <laughs> so Misaki's Kaidan. So Misaki is somebody's name, probably. And then oh. Tono Iti means part one. So oh. story is going to take multiple chapters to solve. And that is will, where we'll be stopping for the day.